Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the World of Juice Hoops channel, and welcome to NCAA March Madness 2005. That is right. We are here, and we are going to be starting a dynasty with an unlikely team. That team being a certain Oral Roberts. And no, I didn't just pick Oral Roberts because their name. I have standards, come on. I didn't just pick Oral Roberts to do a bunch of oral jokes. I'm more mature than that, come on. No, totally, I totally picked them because of all the jokes and stuff. <laughs> but today is going to be the first episode in what hopefully will be a long-form Dynasty series on March Madness 2005. Now let's get to know the team. Here we are. We are Oral Roberts. We are bad. Our best player is this man right here, 80 overall. I forget his name. I created all these names. These are made-up players. Uh, made up names they're real players from this from this team but I, I i created all these players because if you're not familiar college basketball games do not have or college games in general don't have uh the player names on it because obviously they weren't getting paid they didn't have nil at that point so they had to go with just name and or just a uh, position and number was how all the ncaa football games did it and how all the ncaa basketball games did it and all the baseball games, all that kind of good stuff, until obviously, like, people would go and create the, the rosters themselves and then upload them. But we don't have that today because this is uh, not available. So I had to go and make all the, the team, or not all the teams, I did. I, everybody else around the country is all not named. I didn't name anybody. Uh, I, I guess I could have named some of the, like, the best players of the, of the time. Maybe I'll do that in the next episode, before the next episode. But here's our team. Franklin Scott is our best player, number 30, for the uh, for the Oral Roberts somethings. I have all the players here. I wonder if there's a better way to see it. Can I reorder the roster, maybe? Is that how we see some better players? Okay, so we have... Uh, I don't think I can see their actual names or anything. But we have Davis, we have Scott, we have Reynolds, we have Walker, and we have Sutton as our starting five. Uh, we're going to be bad. This best player is an 80 overall power forward. We have a 73 overall point guard. Our, sh our starting small forward is a 60 overall. So, like, yeah, look at our bench. We've Our best players are big men. 73 power forward, 80 overall power forward, 70 overall center. We do have a pretty decent shooting guard with Walker. I think it's Isaiah Walker I made it. I made up all these names, by the way, like I mentioned before. So, we will get to know these players as we play throughout the, the season. And we will learn about how this team is trying to get back to prominence. Prominence. Well, technically get to prominence, not get back to prominence. And we're going to go through recruiting. We're going to see all that. Oh, that's right. We're the Golden Eagles. We're going to get through recruiting. We're going to get through all the good stuff here. And we are going to try to get this team to be a tournament team. As you can see, there's brackets we got. This is the Maui Invitational. We are not a part of the Maui Invitational because we're not a good team just yet. But hopefully, at some point, we can make it to this tournament that would be awesome we do have a something an email in our pda uh that's how old this game is <laughs> Ooh, we got a couple messages from the athletic director here we go from the athletic director congratulations welcome to the oral roberts program <laughs> funny our school and alumni are excited to have you on board and we expect great things from you and your staff this is your pda it will alert you of all the happenings on your team the ncaa and other important information that will help you in running this program. Take some time to get familiar with its functionality. Thank you, Athletic Director. I appreciate that. And then this is congratulations from the AD as well. We at Oral Roberts couldn't be more pleased with your decision to take over our basketball team. Welcome aboard. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy here. And we got a new message from the coaching staff. Uh, coaching staff training camp results. Oh, that's right. I simulated training camp results or a training uh, simulated the training camp so we could uh, get to the regular season there were some strong performances this year uh, in this year's camp okay i like that i like that a lot we have not good stuff <laughs> our guys i mean these are good numbers for what these guys are but once we get a little bit better 
with better players, then they'll certainly have uh, better numbers on training camp and stuff. And that's just what it is. Okay, so that's everything we needed to look in there. Uh, can I delete these messages? Yeah, here we go. Delete, delete, and then delete. Alright, so we don't have anything in recruiting, we don't have anything from the NCAA, and we don't have anything from the medical staff, so... That is all we need to take a look at there. Coaching options. What's this? This is uh, recruiting program standards. Let's take a look at the program standards. So, our NCAA interest is very low, which is understandable. We don't have any sanctions. That's pretty interesting. I didn't I didn't remember you could get sanctions in this game. Okay. Maybe we'll try to get some. <laughs> we have no, team, uh, no player suspension. We have a team discipline of D, and our discipline points, we have 150 of those. So maybe if we have to discipline a player we could use that coaching strategy i think i'm going discipline assistance <laughs> uh let's see i think we're just going to keep it 50 50 for right now we haven't really figured out our play style just yet coaching report card this must be my yeah my stats here so the athletic director's statement the team will like to uh would like to extend their welcome to you as the new coach our job security is 50 okay obviously we're zero and zero with the zero years uh at the school Season record is all zero. We have conference record, non-conference record, record, current streak, winning seasons, which is probably going to be very minimal at the start. Uh, record versus top 25, record versus rivals, conference titles, and national titles. Okay. And then our contract info. We have a three-year contract, and we have to have a winning season. We have to get an NCAA tournament bid, which is going to be very difficult, and maintain program prestige during the length of our contract. Okay. Coach positions. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is just telling me that I'm the head coach. Okay, perfect. Training sessions and then dynasty extras. We don't need to go into any of that. Uh, stats central. We don't need to look at any of this, I don't think, because what's school stats here? Oh, this is just telling us what conference we're in. We are in the mid-continent conference with Centenary, Centenary, Chicago State, IUPUI, or as I like to call them, Ui Pui, Missouri, Kansas City, Oakland, us, Southern Utah, Valparaiso, Western Illinois. That's our conference. You guys may be familiar with a few of these teams, like Valparaiso, Oakland, uh, IUPUI, those kind of teams. So that's what our conference is going to be in. Campus Challenge, what's this? Oh, this is just player tasks. Okay. I don't think we're going to be doing any of this, but that's pretty interesting. School Management. We have Edit Players, Real Roster, Injury Report, Offense, Defensive Playbooks. Okay, we don't need to be going into that. What's the my NCAA? That is... Oh, we're loading into something. Okay. Oh, this is like Hall of Fame. It's, okay. Oh, this is where we find all our trophies. Why doesn't a, a, the games have this anymore? This is cool. 2K should have a trophy room like this where you can get all this stuff. See, we can find like All-Americans. There's the NCAA title, Coach of the Year. Hopefully, we're going to be winning those. It's going to take us a while, obviously, but hopefully we're going to be getting those. The record books. That's pretty cool. Oh uh, yeah, this is awesome. We got rivalry pennants, battle for Ala the battle for Alabama. Do they have the game? They have the Holy War. Just like football. I don't see Ohio State Michigan on here. Maybe I just missed it. Big Ten Supremacy, maybe that's what it is. I don't know. It, oh it's oh it's no that's not big game, that's Stanford Cal. I thought they called it the game or the big game here. I don't see it on here. Whatever. Do we have anything over here? Rivalry pennants. Oh, this is conference championships. Okay, so we're probably not going to be winning all those. But if we could win a few, that'd be awesome. Uh, what's the lounge? Ooh, what is this? Oh, this is where you put in like, codes and stuff? The jukebox, the classics, Battle of the Ages. All right, that's all, that's all cool stuff. Pretty cool. And then the bookstore, I'm guessing, is where you find all the uh, historic... Ooh, historic teams and stuff. That's kind of interesting. I don't know if you can use these guys. Uh, oh, you need campus points to unlock them. Hey, look at that. 60 Ohio State Buckeyes. That's pretty cool. You need 75 campus points. I'm not sure how you earn campus points, but... Uh, I'm sure you need to, to get those to unlock all those different things. Okay, so that's what uh, we have in the My NCAA. Obviously, options. You know what that is. So, taking a look at the calendar, we've got ourselves our first game of the season against UTEP away from home we don't start conference play until uh i think we start conference play in january yep here we go so we have a big month of january with conference play 
we're not going to be playing every single game, obviously. We're going to be simulating a few games. Uh, we will play a couple. I don't know how long it's going to take. I think I have my settings. I'll have to readjust my settings in a, in a couple seconds, but I'm pretty sure we're going to be playing just short little games and stuff and uh, and having some fun because I'm still trying to get used to this game again. I haven't played this in a long time, so <laughs> still going to try to get used to the game. Our school overview, we have no freshmen on the team, which is not a, a good thing at all. Uh, we have a lot of seniors. We have, what, five seniors and then a, a lot of sophomores, so that's a good, I guess. We have no commits, no targets, obviously, because it's the start of it. So we could start with the, the pipeline. We have a pipeline in Oklahoma, in Texas, and that's probably it. Yeah, so only, our only pipeline states are Oklahoma and Texas, which is not bad. Texas produces a lot of, a lot of uh, good basketball players. Are there any interested prospects? Ooh, okay. So we got a couple two stars. Does that say Derek Jeter? Oh, Derek Jerry. I thought that was Derek Jeter for a second. I was like, oh, hello. All right, so we got a couple guys that are interested in Oral Roberts. I'm going to recruit some of these guys because we need them. So we have 224 points remaining and seven available scholarships. And Jason Kelly is a 6'3 point guard from Topeka, Kansas. And he is considering us as our as the second school. We will... Uh, I'll offer him a scholarship since that takes zero points. And we will... We'll send him a package. We'll scout the player, obviously. And I think that'll be good for right now for him. So, Mr. Juice, updates to your recruiting actions will take one week. Be sure to check your PDA for the latest reports. Thank you for that. All right, so we're scouting Jason Kelly, a seven-foot center in Derek Jarrett, although we're third on him. I probably want to go for somebody that has us at the top, like a Seth Betts from Cabot, Arkansas, or Arkansas. We're going to scout the player. We're going to invite him to a game. We'll send him to the Centenary. Uh, Centenary. I don't know how to say that team name. <laughs> and then we will uh, we'll watch one of his games. We're not going to offer him a scholarship just yet. All right, so we got two of those guys. We've got, let's see, anybody else big name guys? Is there a big time center that likes us? Uh, not really. I guess we could go to centers and see. All right, there's three centers on our board. Derek Jarrett, seven foot three, Dennis Kern. I'm interested about seven foot three, Dennis Kern. We will offer him a scholarship, we'll scout him, and we will send him a package. Those will be the three there. I'm not sure if I should spend all my points right now or not. The other guy, Jason Jason Kelly, was a point guard. He's six foot three. Inu Finley's six one. He he could be pretty good though. We'll we'll recruit him as well. We'll offer him a scholarship. We will watch one of his games and we will scout him. There we go. We have about I think what four scholarships left. Five maybe. Tim York. We need to go for like a, a wing. We don't have any good wings. So Grant Stanley six six. Scout him. He's got decent interest in us. We got four scholarships left. We will send him... Uh, we'll watch one of his games and we'll scout him. That's all we'll do for him. Alright. I'm not Like I said, I'm not sure if we need to spend all of our points or not. Is there any more talented? Six foot seven, Sean Burton. Hello. Definitely want to scout him. Definitely want to send him a package and probably even offer him a scholarship. I know he's only a one star, but six foot seven? We can work with that. We can work with that. All right, so that is what we have so far. We don't have anything in that. Can I see all the guys that I have? Ooh, look at these guys, top 10. Six foot three, five star. Wait, that's not even five stars, that's six stars. That's a six star prospect right there. All these guys are six star prospects. I didn't know it went up to six stars. Nick Cork, Andrew Murphy, Roddy Buss. Very interesting, current targets. We're not gonna be in there just yet, that's for sure. <laughs> all right, so I think that's all the... I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if we need to... If we need to scout those guys or not. Tim Perry is a big-time prospect from Oklahoma. Interested, interested players in us. Okay, so all these guys are just... These are all the interested players in us, not just from Oklahoma and Texas. That's what I was wondering about. All right, so... I thought that said Mike Tyson. Manfred Tyson? That's a legendary name. Ollie Pugh. 
Definitely want to get guys that are super interested. It looks like all the guards are interested in us. Kevin Holmes, we got a number one on, on him. We'll scout him. We will uh, watch one of his games and we'll offer him a scholarship with two point uh, two scholarships remaining. I guess we'll save some of our points and just uh, and have that be what we have. I don't think I can see anything else. I guess we'll just have to wait for the the PDA to to figure out if we're gonna get any of those guys. But let's simulate up to and including this day. So we'll get into the season here. There's not gonna be any games in this one though. I don't think this is just gonna be an introduction introductory episode. And then next episode, we'll probably play one or two months of games just to get through the season. Since there's only four games in here, we'll probably play one and then simulate a couple or do something like that. And then play December as well. I did add uh, Purdue to the schedule. I thought that'd be pretty fun. <laughs> All right, so we have our PDA message in our PDA. Let's answer it. Ooh, we got a bunch of recruiting news. All right, perfect. Absolutely perfect. So assistant coach giving us our scouting report on... Jason Kelly. Coach, you should look at the most updated scouting information about Jason Kelly before someone gilt, someone else gets to him. Okay. He's changed his mind, Coach. We'll see him on campus for sure. Ooh. Okay, that's good to see. Two-star point guard Jason Kelly. He's changed his mind. I like that. Uh, let's scout him. And <laughs> rescind his scholarship. Uh, we'll watch one of his games. See how good he is. All right, so we know about Jason Kelly now. Let's delete that message. Sean Burton. Let's look at him. Scouting reports had Sean leaving, but we think he'll stay. Oh, this is the 6'7 small forward. This is the 6'7 small forward. Let's scout him a little bit more. Figure out just how good he is. And then we have two more messages. Seth Betts and Inu Finley. Let's take a look at Seth Betts first. Uh, he has a good head on his shoulders with no missteps. What's that little injury thing? Is that an injury thing? Or is that a positive? That might be a positive... Like a positive note. Because that is a good note. He has a good head on his shoulders with no missteps. Uh, and he's one. He's the we're the top school. So that's awesome. His offense is an E. I don't know what that means, but hopefully it doesn't mean a bad thing. We'll scout him again. We'll send him a package too. Send him a good old package. Alright, so Seth Betts. Probably coming here. We haven't offered him a scholarship just yet, but he's probably coming here. And then Inu Finley, the final guy we have any information on, and we don't know a lot about him. Recruit potential is poor. His offense is a D. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, let's get, scout him a little bit more and send him a package. I don't know what the packages do, but we'll send a bunch of people packages. Maybe it's like a, a gift basket. <laughs> little mini muffins. All right. So that's all the news that we had there. Is there any settings here? Oh, that's just for the, the ring tone or whatever. The notification thing. All right, so we will probably end it there for today. We've done all the stuff we need to do. We, we took a look at recruiting. We took a look at the roster. We have basically done all the information for you guys. So now you're ready to go for episode number two. When we jump into the actual season, we will play UTEP, probably get blown out, and then uh, we'll jump around and, and, and simulate some of these games. It's not going to be pretty the first year or two of this dynasty because we have such a low overall players. But that's the that's the whole point. The whole point is it for it to be uh, a grind, and we got to bring Oral Roberts from the bowels of obscurity all the way to top dog, blue blood team in college football, not college football, in college basketball, like the Dukes, the Kentuckys, the Purdues, the Kansas the Gonzagas, all of these teams that are always contending for big time championships and always our tournament teams. That's where we want to be. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave it a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club if you're excited for more Oral Roberts Dynasty. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>